Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new then please subscribe. So in today's pick a card reading this is going to be why did they ghost you. So this is going to be a no contact situation. So if you have a connection with someone this could be um, a past lover, this could be a family member, a friend, anyone that you have had a connection with and now there is just no contact. This is going to be a reading that is going to give you the guidance you need and if this person is going to come back, if this person is going to contact you, if you're going to hear from them. So we're going to find out why there is like a silence right now. So for group one we have the cat, group two we have the leaf, group three we have the black and white feather and then group four we have the butterfly. So each one of these groups has a specific message that I've already asked and received. So that will be your message behind the group that you choose. Um, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. However, if you click this video, I do believe there is a message here somewhere for you. I do offer private personal readings, which you can book um, down below in the description box. So I'm going to play some soundbound music to help you to meditate on the card that is calling you the most and then when you feel ready you can click your timestamp below. Hello group number one, welcome to your reading. So you chose the cat keyring. So we're going to get straight into your reading to find out why this person is ghosting you. So the card we have here is we have elders. So the thing that I'm picking up in elders is that there could be a situation here with you and your person where one is older than the other. So there could be more maturity on one side of the connection. Um, I'm hearing the words compassion and wisdom as well and I'm picking up that there could be a like a no contact situation here because there is a distance between your ages or I'm also picking up this energy of someone like needing to heal someone in this connection is taking time to themselves so your person that you have in mind I feel like they're trying to kind of dig into their intuition I'm picking up that it may have seen something, um, this could be why there's like a no contact situation but I really do feel like they are listening to their intuition, their gut and how they're feeling right now and they're just trying to work out if this connection is good for them, they're making sure it's not poisonous, so I feel like they're taking a backseater. So can we find out more about this connection for group number one? Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Why did they ghost you, group one? Why is there no contact? Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Okay, wow. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords that came out with strength. So already there's a strong energy here on why they are not speaking to you right now. Um, I'm hearing like they don't have the words that's coming through. We've got quite a few messages here. We have the Queen of Swords as well. Someone's definitely been hurt in this connection. Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords. This, yeah, and the Hierophant, the Two of Pentacles. So I'm hearing that someone has been hurt in this connection. There's definitely this energy here of, you know, someone could have felt stabbed in the back. And I say that one person because when someone breaks contact with you, it's not necessarily your fault. It could be their fault or it could be your fault. So that's why I'm like vice versa with this connection because something's gone on between this. And this person is trying to be strong in this situation. Okay, they're trying to remain strong because I feel like they do care about you. There's definitely this care in energy here but I'm definitely picking up like this kind of maturity coming through okay I definitely feel like someone is a bit more mature in this connection and maybe a better communicator but 
right now there is like no contact because things have just hit a low in this connection and it's trying to kind of build that strength up again and that courage to talk to you so i'm picking up a leo and i'm picking up a taurus and i'm also picking up um an aquarius libra gemini so those are the zodiac energies that i'm really picking upon which could be your energy or it could be your person's energy um, but someone is definitely worrying and I feel like your person is basically stressing. They're stressing so much to the point where they're having so much anxiety and stress at night because I feel like they're overthinking the situation to the point where, you know, they're, they're living in the past is what I'm hearing. They're living in the past because I feel like, you know, there's like this attack energy where someone has been attacked so this could be like someone has said something in this connection and, you know, especially where we have the two of pentacles, it's just clarifying that balance has been kind of put out of place. I feel like you're both in different stages of life is what I'm hearing. This is why there's no contact because you're both at different points in your life and you're not meeting in the middle. That is why there is a connection breakdown here and especially because we have the Hierophant is letting me know that there is a commitment issue here. So the person that you know you're wanting to hear from I feel like has commitment issues. This could be family issues, relationship issues. Um, I feel like there's someone who may be scared of change. Um, they may be scared of relationships. They may be scared of you know going to the end completing something. So something's definitely scared them is what I'm hearing. I'm definitely hearing that this person is scared. And that's why they've like lost their courage. They've lost their strength because they are scared. So maybe you're intimidating. Maybe like they're drawn to you. They really care for you. And this is why they're so worried. Maybe they're worried about saying the wrong thing. Maybe you are sensitive. Maybe you're sensitive to their energy. So can we find out more for group number one? Why are they ghosting you? Okay, so we have courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. So yeah, I feel like someone in this connection may have said something that wasn't so polite. There could be um, a situation, this connection, where someone needs to kind of bow down to the other person and look for that forgiveness. Someone, you know, needs to use their manners. So I'm definitely picking up that there's an immaturity here. Someone is like less mature in this connection and something's definitely been said that hasn't, you know, came straight from the kind of thought process. It's just kind of literally blabbed out the mouth and then there's like regret. So why else are they ghosting you? Why else are they ghosting you, group number one? Why else? Why are they ghosting you? Okay, so we have reason, listen to advice, think clearly, intellect, call for help, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. So, wow, I feel like this connection, this person's asking for help. They're calling out for help and they, they need to admit this to you. This is why there's like no connection right now and there's like no communication because someone isn't being reasonable. You know, listening to advice and thinking clearly is about listening to this reason. So there's definitely like an intellectual issue here as well. And definitely someone wants to reach out. This call for help, I feel like this person, I'm picking up this person wants to reach out. The energy I'm picking up is they will reach out to you because you see this connection to this telephone. This is a really strong energy, okay? This is really a strong energy of letting you know that this person is going to reach out. So group number one, I feel like this, if you chose this reading with this person, I do feel like you're going to hear from them. They're going to admit their feelings, they're going to admit their needs, and they're definitely going to reach out because the universe is clarifying that. So what else do we need to know for group number one? Why did they ghost you? So we have apples. Well, so within this card, I see that there's been some deception. There's been mistrust. I'm seeing like rotten. Something's gone rotten in this connection. So this is a really deep message. I feel like there's something to do with this connection that has rocked the stability. So something, I'm definitely picking up like a deception and this could be to do with, you know, something that happened or words that were said. 
there's definitely like mistrust here and things that have rotted away in this relationship this is why there's no communication right now but I feel like you don't need to worry because you know we have this call for help you know I feel like they may be trying to get your attention in other ways but I feel like there needs to be reason okay there needs to be reason in this connection in order for you to kind of get back on track to think clearly and communicate properly so group number one this was the reading I received for you on your situation with your person and you know why did they ghost you why is there no contact and if they will reach out so the answer is yes they will let me know in the comments what resonates I would love to know don't forget to subscribe and I'm sending you all so much love and light hello group number two welcome to your reading so you chose the leaf so we already have one message here and the rest of the messages we will be pulling as well so this is going to be, you know, why did they ghost you, why is there no contact, and if you will hear from them again. So the first card we have is Owl. So this is a connector to wisdom. Owls are very strong with knowledge. So I feel like someone is an observer in this connection, okay? And I feel like someone may be, you know, looking at you, even though there's no contact, maybe they're looking on your social media, but someone is observing something you were doing so there may be like no contact but I do feel like this person is like still around I'm picking up that energy where you know even through this dark time you may be going through I feel like their eyes are still on you their eyes are open and I feel like maybe the door isn't closed you know their eyes are not closed to this connection so it makes me think that they will open up maybe and there will be contact but right now I just feel like there could be you know the fact there's no contact is something to do with like knowledge so I thought like maybe you or this person knows something about the other and this broke that contact but I definitely am picking up this observer energy someone is being observed so can we get some more information for group two why did they ghost you why is there no contact group two why did they ghost you why is there no contact Group two, why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Group two, why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Group two, why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Group two, why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Okay, so first off we have the Page of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So, group number two, I'm definitely picking up something to do with your communication with each other as well as something to do with work. Maybe, you know, this person's too busy at work is the message that I'm hearing, that's why there's like no contact. So maybe, you know, if this is a, a friend, a family member, a lover, maybe this person is just too busy, is the kind of energy I'm picking up, they're kind of too busy for you. So it's so interesting you have the page of swords because we said this person could be, you know, an observer and the page of swords is all about, you know, a spying energy, a very clever way of doing it. So I do feel like you're being spied on. The page of swords is clarifying that energy where this person is spying on you. Um, so I feel like maybe they're trying to kind of work out ways to maybe communicate with you. This could even be your energy, you know, maybe you're spying on this person. But I do feel like I'm picking up um, air signs, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this could be you or your person, but I definitely feel like that this person is kind of busy helping other people out, okay? So I feel like maybe in this connection, someone thinks that they are kind of above the other person. Maybe, you know, I'm hearing maybe you wasn't treated right. There, this is why there's no contact, because there's no kind of mutual level, okay? I'm definitely hearing there's like a, a difference in level between your communication right now and you know you have the ten of swords so I can see that you know someone was very hurt in this connection and to the point of you know 
unsure if they can get up from it. So I feel like someone may, could be still like healing from a situation that happened. But I feel like, you know, this person wants to work things out. I feel like this person does want to kind of make contact with you. But again, I feel like they're very busy. They're very busy, you know, helping other people and getting stuck into their own work and their career. They're very into their money. Um, so they could be quite self-absorbed or just they just don't have the time right now to contact you. That's generally the message I'm receiving is they just don't have the time. So, and right now I feel like they don't even have the energy. It's like they're just working so hard. They're taking their mind off of this connection. And yeah, they're just done at the moment. I feel like this energy where they just don't really know where to go from here. So can we find out more for group number two? Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Okay, so we have um, her last day in the light and death rites, unexpected endings, surprise changes, sudden shifts. So there definitely was like an ending, you know, the fact we have the Ten of Swords, there was like an ending within this relationship. That's why there's no contact. Okay, this, this is definitely a no communication situation going on. Um, yeah, I feel like we have the number 10 again, which is clarifying that that shift, the fact that there has been a sudden change, that I feel like there was like a surprise happened that you didn't expect. So this unexpected ending happened quite suddenly. There was a sudden shift that happened, and this is why there is like no communication. And the fact that we also have death rights, which came out with the saying goodbye, formal occasion honoring lives just clarifies the en strong energy that we're picking up here which is that this person has said goodbye to you there's definitely like a breakup situation here definitely like a you know we're done we're not communicating um yeah and definitely picking up that kind of done energy here um, we have the number 11, so I feel like there definitely is like a partnership here or like a relationship that went on. So can we get another message for group number two? Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Why did they ghost you? Okay, so we have... So how interesting the fact we have silence. This just clarifies their energy that there is silence right now in this communication, within this relationship. There is no contact. There is just silence between you both. But this person is still observing you. So I'm definitely picking up that there is definitely stillness. There's like nothingness and there's like no presence here. Okay, there's, this communication is like done. Okay. Um, but we will see if there will be further contact. So let's just see. We have grief. So yeah, I feel like one of you is grieving. Okay, you know, this Ten of Swords came out for a reason. There is something gone on in this connection and it's deep. So for some of you, this is a relationship with family. This is a relationship with a partner. There's definitely strong feelings here. You know, I'm definitely seeing like a relationship here with the number two. So I'm definitely picking up mourning and loss. Okay, someone's definitely mourning this relationship and are feeling very lost. Um, it feels like there's no kind of like no comeback from this situation at the moment. It just feels very heavy. Okay, so will there be contact? Will group number two, will you hear from this person again? Group number two, will you hear from this person again? Group two, will you hear from this person again? Okay, so we have the chariot. Interesting. This is like movement. This is movement happening. So maybe this person's going to start to reflect. Um, it is about going both ways though. So I feel like maybe you could be going in two separate directions. So let's just get a clarifier on the chariot. Will there be... Will you hear from this person? Will this person contact you? Group two, will this person contact you? Can we get a clarifier? Will this person contact you? Okay, so we have the star. So that's amazing. This is like hope. This is like, the star is like a yes card. And we also had the knight of pentacles that came out. So again, I feel like it's going to be slow. 
I'm hearing that this is going to be a slow moving energy to hear from this person. So I'm picking up like this no contact situation could go on for years and years because it's so heavy. But I do feel like we have hope here. So I don't feel like, you know, everything is fully closed. Um, I definitely feel like this person may stop, you know, focusing so much on work and start, you know, looking at what they need to do to communicate more. We also have Earth signs here, which is um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and I'm also picking up Aquarius and Cancer. So quite a lot of Zodiac energies. So group number two, this was the messages I received for you. Let me know in the comments what resonated. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm sending you all so much love and light. Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. So you chose this white feather. So I've already prepared one message for you on why there is no contact right now in this connection, why they've ghosted you and if you're going to hear from them in the future we're going to find that out. Um, so the rest of the messages we will be pulling. So the first card you have that came out for you was voices. So I'm hearing that the words encouragement and inner knowing. So I'm hearing like this person has like a voice within. So voices corresponds to something that was said. This could be harsh words that came out and this energy has just flown overboard okay we have the number 42 so i'm seeing this connection to six so this is the fact that this person may want harmony within this relationship and they may want to speak to you okay there's, there's no communication but we have voices which just proves that there's just a lot of things that are kind of up in the air right now and so there could be some like healing needing to go on in this connection so let's find out more for you Group number three, why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Group number three, why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Group three, why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Group three, okay. So we have the five of wands, we have the page of swords, we have the nine of pentacles and the ten of cups. Interesting. Super interesting group number three. So this person ghosted you because there was an argument that happened, okay? There definitely was, um, someone was kind of putting up their guard. So maybe you were protecting yourself, they were protecting themselves. There definitely was like a, a quarrel, a row, a disagreement. Um, this is why we have voices because definitely, yeah, there was something that was said and the energy is just run is just keeps running and it is playing over this person's head so they're very stubborn is what i'm hearing we do have um air signs here of aquarius libra gemini so this could be your person or it could be you but i feel like this person's energy that i'm picking up um they have a lot to say within communication it's like air this air is coming up strong where you know it's literally around them so they're very vocal and I'm hearing they're very stubborn, they're very set in their ways. I'm hearing that they think they're right when they're not. So this is why there's no communication because this person is just will isn't willing to hear your side. Okay, to be honest, they're really not willing to listen to what you have to say because they're too busy, you know, spreading their own voice. But we do have the Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. So interestingly enough, I feel like there could be a situation here where someone wants to be alone. I'm hearing a message where this person maybe wants their freedom back. Maybe they felt a bit trapped and suffocated within this connection. So for some of you, I'm thinking this is romantic. And then the other half, this is like family. There's been like a family disagreement here, is why I'm hearing. So maybe someone disagreed with something. There's definitely a disagreement and I'm hearing this could be to do with abundance. Maybe something you're bringing in your life they don't agree with. Whether this is money, a job, a relationship. So I'm definitely hearing that this person, there's no communication because of they're not happy for you. Okay? But I do feel like they care. 
I do feel like there is this strong bond here with the Ten of Cups. This person isn't just someone you've known for like a short while. Okay, I'm definitely picking up like a long term relationship you've had with this person. Um, I'm picking up like siblings as well. I feel like there could be disagreement with siblings. Um, definitely like family members. And yeah, definitely with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you may have done something or said something where, you know, you want to go in life and this person's just disagreed with it. Is kind of that energy that I'm picking up. Um, they're trying to overpower you with their voice. So, group number three, why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Wow, so I said that there was like a history here that this relationship isn't like a new relationship and we have ancient that came out ancestry egypt magical inheritance so yeah for a lot of you i'm i'm picking up that this is like an old relationship coming up maybe you've not heard from this person for a long time um i'm hearing that there's like a problem with the stability and the foundation of this relationship i feel like you've like lost the foundation and it needs to like be built and for some of you tuning in, this could be to do with inheritance as well. We do have money coming up and money connected with emotions. So possibly this could be like a family matter as well. We have that issue coming up for some of you. So why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Group number three. Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? Okay, so we have free will severity independence three spirits so the nine of pentacles really does clarify that independent energy that i spoke about earlier where someone just wants to kind of be on their own right now and it's enjoying their time um not having to talk to you so again i'm picking up like change there's like major change within this connection and i feel like Free will is all about having that independence to do what you want. So I'm definitely picking up there is like a no contact situation here because someone didn't agree with your free will. You know, we all have a free will to speak our voices, but again, this person shut you down. Okay? So that's like a strong energy of a clash. There was like a clash between you and this person. So can we find out more for group three? Why did they ghost you? Why is there no contact? So we have the witch card. So the witch card corresponds to wisdom and alchemy. So again, I'm picking up like this independent energy where someone has free will. This person is so liberated with being who they want to be. But someone, again, doesn't agree with this. I feel like this person is trying to control you. I'm definitely picking up, you know, we have the number seven. I feel like there's kind of someone trying to control this situation. Maybe someone's trying to grab hold of you. Yeah, I'm definitely kind of feeling that energy where someone was just a bit controlling in this relationship. Um, I feel like someone wanted to pull you in a certain way. They wanted to pull you to these roots. I'm also picking up like they didn't agree with the relationship you had. This could be... Again, this could be a family matter or this could be like a relationship, a friend. But I definitely feel like, you know, you wanted to commit to something. There is a commitment here that you were set on your ways to have this and that someone disagreed with this. So group three, will this person contact you again? Will this person contact you again? Will they make contact? Group three, will this person make contact to you in the future? Group three, will this person make contact to you in the future? Oh, wow. Okay, so okay, so we have three messages here. We have the Tower, we have the Ace of Swords, and we have Death. Interesting. So there's definitely a chaotic moment of a breakup here. I'm definitely picking up like a breakup within this connection. So there's definitely been like a split between you and this person. And it, again, I said it needs to kind of rebuild. Um, the fact we have death kind of clarifies to me this person may not contact you. Okay. Um, but we do have the Ace of Swords, which is like a new beginning. And death corresponds to rebirth as well. So the fact we have 
death the ice of swords in the tower i feel like there's going to be like no contact um i feel like this person is kind of not willing to kind of make that initial contact but i almost feel like they may be kind of wanting you to do that to kind of you know make that contact first is kind of what i'm hearing because again they're stubborn but i don't feel like they're going to reach out to you i feel like it's going to have to be on your behalf if you want to communicate with them so group number three this was the reading i received for you on why they ghosted you why there's no contact and if you will hear from this person again so let me know in the comments down below what resonates i would love to know don't forget to subscribe and i'm sending you all so much love and light hello group number four welcome to your reading so you chose the butterfly so we're going to find out why they ghosted you why there's no contact with this person and if you will hear from them again so i've already asked for one message so the message that you have is the vow so i can see that there's been a change in this connection i'm hearing that there's been like a crossing in your relationship within like revealing the truth about something and very much having concealment so someone has just tried to conceal the truth about something and I feel like you know the vow is just being lifted now it's being you know risen it's just you know the fact that things are starting to come out of the fog okay and I feel like uh, I just feel like there's definitely pain here as well I'm definitely picking up that energy from this card that someone has kind of been dishonest and not been truthful can we get some more messages for group four why did they ghost you why is there no contact group four why did your person ghost you why is there no contact group four why did your person ghost you why is there no contact why did they ghost you okay so we have the ten of swords the two of cups the Four of Swords, as well as the Four of Cups. Okay, so, group number four, I'm already receiving a very strong message here. Um, interesting enough, the Ten of Swords, I think, has come out on, like, all three piles. All three groups. And this is the fourth group. Um, it's come out a lot, so everyone's connection seems to be going through a lot right now. Um... Yeah, it's definitely come out on at least two. So this is the third, or it's definitely all four. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm receiving a message that this person, okay, wants a break. There, there's no contact because they don't want to. They don't want to reach out. Okay, I'm just being honest, what I see, and they just want a break. So they're kind of a bit done with this communication. Um... I feel like there are feelings here, but there is like a communication lack within what you both want in life. So I feel like whether this is a relationship that is romantic or not, there is something that doesn't feel right. I feel like you both kind of want different things of what you think um, the future should be like, what your foundation and stability looks like. So this person, I'm hearing that they want to break because they're bored. Okay, I feel like that's why there's no contact, because they're bored. Um, and I have to be as honest as I can um, of what I see. And I feel like they've just... I feel like you may have tried to contact them and they've just, like, blocked you. I'm hearing, like, they've just cut all contact. I do feel, like, more on their side that they've cut the contact. Um, because I do feel like, you know, maybe you put an offer out there and they've just not took it so they're very much stuck in this kind of energy is what I feel like um you know the ten of swords is that clarification of you know things being over with and um someone has been stabbed in the back there's definitely been dishonesty maybe this person doesn't want to face you because they don't want to own up to what they've done um, the fact we have the Two of Cups is a strong energy with all these cards because it's clarifying that you had a connection with this person. Okay, I'm hearing that this connection was um, at a point where it was really good at one time. So whether this is family, friendship, romantic, 
Uh, obviously this is a general reading but I feel like someone's energy out there had a really good connection with this person and it's actually quite sad. Um, I'm picking up like a kind of sad energy here where the relationship just kind of fizzled out or it just started to get like depressive. I'm really kind of picking up that energy as well. Um, yeah I do feel like there is no contact because this person has checked out but it doesn't mean that they don't care I do feel like maybe they do think about you sometimes but something needs to kind of be said and it's not being said so group four why is there no contact why did they go to you okay so we have compassion empathy Sympatico kindness. Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling like there's no contact because the passion has gone. I'm feeling that energy with the Four of Swords and this card. The compassion has gone. And that's quite important in a relationship. Maybe this person's not willing to be kind right now, they're not willing to give you empathy. So even if they've done something wrong, they're not going to own up to it right now. Okay, so can we get another message? Group number four, why did they ghost you? Why there's no contact? Okay, so we have seduction, allure, desire, manipulation, and first, craving, um, compulsion, obsession. Interesting energy. So group number four, as well as compassion, you know, there is a lack in seduction here. I'm hearing for some of you, there could have been like a, if this is a relationship, like a romantic relationship, there could have been like a cheating situation gone on here. Maybe this person, you know, got bored of this relationship and they just forgot what they had and then seduced someone else. That's why we have seduction. Um... You know, it's like we have this vow, this kind of ghost bride that has kind of been left out in the cold. So I'm hearing that there's no communication because I feel like you are being manipulated. Okay, there is a manipulative energy here, again, of someone not being truthful about what they desire. So I do feel like this person may still want you, okay, especially, you know, the seduction to cups. But again, this person, I feel like, isn't contacting you because maybe they want you to do it or like that energy where I feel like you may have they're kind of thirsty for more maybe they're craving your attention maybe they feel like you know they're a bit of an attention seeker and they're not getting enough attention from you um maybe they're trying to grow this and there is an obsession here so whenever this obsession is on your part or their part maybe you're obsessed with what they've done or they're obsessed with what you've done okay obviously um i'm just hearing like back and forth energies of you both where there's something's gone on in this connection that has definitely rocked the compassion and you know the seductive side of this relationship that has led to this obsession and that's why there's no communication because i'm hearing like you know you both kind of just want to break you both feel a bit depressed. I'm definitely hearing that like it's just depressing to kind of communicate with this person. It's like draining your energy. So group number four, why is there no contact? Why did they ghost you? Group number four, why is there no contact? Okay, so we have ritual. So something I see in ritual, this is about dedication and harnessing something. Okay, so I feel like Someone lost their dedication within this connection. And, you know, rituals are all about putting that time and effort into doing it. You know, it's about having that time to see someone, to make plans and stick to them. And that's why there's no contact, because this person lacked this. Okay, this person lacked this communication to see you. So I feel like, you know, maybe someone is trying to manifest this contact. Um... And I feel like there is just this waiting energy now. Someone's waiting to hear from this person, whether this is you or the other side. There's just like a lot of healing that needs to be done in this relationship. 
So will you hear from this person again? Will they contact you again? Will you hear from this person again? Group four. Will this person contact you again? Group number four. Will this person contact you again? Group number four. Okay, so we have the nine of wands. So I'm picking up this energy of like anger. There's too much anger within this connection. I feel like this person um, is still going on this ongoing battle where they're still standing on this grounds. They're still, you know, wary of this battle and they're feeling really tired. They're exhausted. They're tired of trying to communicate. Maybe they have tried to communicate with you, but I definitely feel like this energy of like a setback, um, a stuck energy and I feel like this person could be trying to gather the strength to push forward but I'm definitely hearing that they're guarded and they're wounded so I don't feel like there's going to be like no I don't really feel like they're going to contact you and we do have the knight of wands at the back so I feel like it's kind of clarifying that passionate energy that could be lacking right now in this relationship where I'm feeling like action needs to be taken and things may happen quite fast but I feel like it's going to happen fast within a move so I feel like this person could be moving further away from you is kind of that energy I'm picking up it's like a lover leaving it's like a person you know walking out um yeah I'm definitely feeling like this in and out energy where this person may come back at certain points but I do feel like it's like not a stable connection here so I feel like this is just like the energy is just moving too fast where it's kind of unrepairable if someone doesn't kind of break the silence because I'm definitely picking up that someone's like left, someone's left um, the good kind of energy. Um, so group number four, this was the reading I received for you. Let me know in the comments what resonated. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm sending you all so much love and light.